An ABC News exclusive with Prince Harry. Will Reeves sat down with him to talk about the king, where his relationship with the royal family stands now, and what's next for him and Meghan. Good morning, Will. Good morning, George. We're here in Canada as part of the one year to go event surrounding next year's Invictus Games, which Harry founded as part of his work with wounded service members. And he and Meghan gave GMA exclusive access this week as Harry opened up about his father, his family, and his future. In moments, the Duke of Sussex will be hurtling headfirst 60 miles an hour down a winding track of ice in the mountains of Canada. Got foot what? Down. It's all part of his and Duchess Meghan's multi-day tour of the site of Invictus Games Vancouver Whistler 2025. The couple giving GMA exclusive access. Harry's the founding patron of the games, and for next year's first ever winter edition, competitors, many of them wounded veterans from up to 25 nations, will participate in about a dozen events, including Skeleton, that head-first luge. Harry's trying it and bringing me with him. Make sure that you're nice and relaxed, and then all you have to do is like... Like a yoga instructor for the world's scariest yoga. <laughs> I just got a little bit nervous. After a brief safety training, we meet competitors at the top. We are going to be sliding from Maple Leaf Star. We are going to be doing one run from here, reaching uh, up to 100 kilometers an hour. So Arno is first. I don't want to speak too soon, but the first time I see see it. No, it's going up too far at all. Are you quite competitive? Um, sometimes, depends yeah. on what it is. Yeah. Are you gonna? I, f I feel my competitive juice is flying. Up. Good luck. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Then it was Harry's turn. Don't make international <laughs> news. Okay. <laughs> Since leaving the royal family nearly four years ago, the Duke and Duchess's every move has made headlines. And just last week, an unexpected diagnosis for Harry's father, King Charles. How did you get the news that the king was ill? Um, I spoke to him. And what did you do next? I jumped on a plane and, and went to go and see him as soon as I could. How was that visit for you emotionally? Um, look, I, 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 love, I love my family. The fact, that I was, the fact that I was able to get on a plane and go and see him and spend any time with him, I'm grateful for that. What's sort of your outlook on, on his health? That stays between me and him. An illness in the family can have a galvanizing or sort of reunifying effect for a family. Absolutely. Is that possible in this case? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you know, I've, uh, throughout all these families, I see it on a on a day to day basis. Um, you know, the again the the strength of the, of the family unit coming together. Just physically being in California, how have you processed the fact that there's so much happening back uh, with your family, where you come from? I have my own family, right? So as we all do, yeah. right? So um, you know, my family and my life in California is, is is as it is. You know, I will. I've got you know other trips planned um, that would take me through the UK or back to the UK. Um, so you know, I'll, I'll stop in and, and see my family as much as I can. That's my next question about your family. How's Harry the dad? How's what? How How's the Harry dad? the dad? I can't tell you. That's classified. Okay, you it's know, super, you know, top right? secret. It's top secret. Really? No, the kids, making lunches. The kids, and... the kids are doing great. The kids are growing up like all kids do, very very fast. Um, they both got an incredible sense of humour and you know make us laugh and keep us grounded every single day like most most kids do. So um, yeah, I'm just very grateful to be a dad. How are you enjoying your time living in the U.S.? It's amazing. I love every single day. Do you feel American? Uh, do I feel American? Um, no, I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Would you I think about becoming a citizen? It's, I have. I have considered it. Yeah. 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 What would, what would stop you from doing it? I have no idea. I, that's, I'm, I'm here, standing next to this with these guys. Yeah. And this, the American citizenship is, <laughs> is, is, a, is a thought that has crossed my mind, but certainly not something that's a high priority for me right now. Aside from Invictus, what else are you? What's keeping you busy when you're out of the house? <laughs> everything. Yeah. Everything in the house, everything outside the house. Um, so no, the, the, the mission continues and every, every element of the work continues. And then before you know it, February next year, this time in a year's time, we're going to be right here doing all this again. Hopefully you'll be here. Um, and we're going to have the whole of uh, Whistler and hopefully the whole of Canada screaming these guys on for, for an epic games. Back on the skeleton track, Harry making it safely to the bottom hitting a top speed of 99 kilometers or 61 miles per hour. Oh, man. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Good. Well done. Then, my turn. <laughs> you had 99, I had 98. It's my top speed. It seems to matter so much to you. What, like, where do you get the desire to be so involved 
in helping other people. I've always had a life of service, and then I get my fix being part of it with these guys. Um, there's no version of me coming here, watching them, and not getting involved myself. Watching Harry here, that certainly rings true. His whole time on the mountain, he was engaging in all the activities and talking to the competitors, really immersing himself in all this. And coming up in our second hour, we have an all-access exclusive look at Harry's preparations for next year's Invictus Games and what it means to him personally and to his legacy, guys. What a fascinating yeah. conversation, Will. And Rebecca took note of that number. In 98 <laughs> kilometers per hour you yeah. were going, Will? <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't beat him, unfortunately. We had to bet that we'd break 100. I'm just but... impressed you did it in yeah. the first place. <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.